up you guys and welcome back to the channel so today we're gonna be reacting to uh, if we can get it up nukes top five five scary ghost videos sleep is canceled um i'm back reacting to some more videos uh, if you guys want to see any more of these please comment down below and let me know this video is by nukes top five go to his channel subscribe and check out the rest of his videos um for the turkish fans i will be doing turkish reactions it's gonna take me a little while because you know i've had you know in the past i've had problems you know with youtube copyright claiming the videos and all that and that's not good for my channel so you know i was not able to do those but anyways let's go and get into this video if you guys want to see the original video i'll put the link to it down in the description below let go top five ghosts call on camera catch them all on camera Zach from the YouTube channel Catch 'em All Fishing has a channel dedicated to fishing and catching reptiles. Nothing creepy or nothing paranormal whatsoever. At least until this stuff. recent video. In the video, Zach is exploring an undisclosed location that he calls, quote, an abandoned underground city. He says that he is trying to find and capture a python, as the large snakes are drawn to warm, wet places like this. As he enters the dark building, he immediately feels like he's not alone. So before I get too deep in here, I just want to let you all know I'm looking for snakes right now, for pythons, and honestly, I feel like I shouldn't be in here. Then leave. It's really creepy in here, and it's really big. Hello. As he explores the dark underground building, Zack is a little jumpy, and it turns out he has reason to be. Dude. All right, so as soon as I heard those voices, chills went down my spine. I'm sorry, I had to pause that just to kind of recuperate myself real quick because that's pretty creepy. What? Oh, hell no. Zach hears yep, strange moans go. coming Run. from somewhere down the winding underground hallways. He decides to hide, thinking there might be someone else in there with him. Someone up to there no good. Is. Maybe a homeless guy, I don't know. Yeah. A lot of abandoned places have homeless people. You know, they got nowhere else to go. Wish me luck, guys. I gotta shut off my light. I don't know what's going on. The voice has stopped. The voice has stopped, guys. Get out of there, bro. A python ain't even worth it. Get out of there. What the... Eventually, the voices stop, and Zack decides to make a break for it, leaving the underground tunnel system behind. But later, when Zack reviews his footage, he realizes that he caught something absolutely terrifying in one of his camera shots. It's leaking outside from somewhere. What? Hello? The bizarre figure of a pale man seems to be staring at Zack from the darkness. Zack claims that he didn't even see the figure until he reviewed his footage later. However, he says that throughout his entire exploration, he felt like someone was following behind him. So, is this strange pale figure a ghost calling camera? Yeah, you might want to get the hell or out of there. was there just some creepy person stalking Zack throughout the tunnels? You decide. You can watch Zack's full video on his YouTube channel, Catch them all fishing. The Weeping Woman. On his YouTube channel, Edda Hernandez does a little bit of everything, from travel vlogging to fishing to even the occasional ghost hunt. In this video, Edda travels to a small Mexican fishing village named Bajos de Mimiawa. While there, the locals tell him about a terrifying local haunting. The story goes that many years ago, a family came to the village and built a series of houses where they planned to live. Unfortunately, not long after the family moved to the village, their young son mysteriously disappeared, never to be found again. 
As time went by, the boy's mother went mad oh, with oh, grief, that's sad. desperate to find her long lost son. Of course she would. In her unhinged state, she became homicidal. She tragically ended the lives of her entire family and then took her own life. Locals claim that they can still hear and sometimes even see the screaming. Yo, that's sad. That's sad. She lost her baby and then. You know, she kind of just lost it and killed everybody. That's sad, yo. That's really sad. Woman, at late hours of the night, they've started referring to her as La Llorona, the ghostly weeping woman from Central and South American folklore. That's that movie they that they made. They believe that even in death, it. the woman is still looking for her lost child. The fishermen in the village are terrified of the ghost and go as far as burning incense to keep the evil spirit away from their house. <laughs> ¿No? De plano, ya, o sea. De plano, ya. 10 horas de la noche, 12 de la noche empieza a gritar aquí. Pues nadie sale, los pescadores se espantan, ¿no? ¿Saben lo que hacemos nosotros cuando así ya se oye el ruido? Agarramos copal, incencio y empezamos a, a saumar para que se retire. Together with a local guide, Edo Hernandez and his friends decide to check out the now abandoned cabins at night to see if the ghost stories are true. It did not go well. Of course not. No sé, es que quién sabe para qué sea eso. Y aquello, carnal, la neta está cabrón. La neta está cabrón. ¿Cuántas son de estas, carnal? Pues hay otra más para allá arriba, de hecho. Oye, oye. Hoy, hoy. De hecho, estamos viviendo un ambiente espiritual fuerte. Sí hay vida espiritual en este lugar. Cabrón. Sí, sí. Cada vez que estamos metiendo más a esta, a esta investigación, siento como que el aire está cambiando de hoy. ¿Oíste? Charon, está cambiando de... ¿Una niña? Una niña, una niña. No sé, no. As they walk around the dark cabins, they keep hearing what sounds like the screams of a woman or maybe a child. But they are about to encounter something truly terrifying. Este está como que, digo Ángel, Ángel, como que se ve, este, más montuno, ¿no? ¿Cómo sientes aquí, brujo? No, bastante fuerte, hermano. Aquí, aquí. Hoy, hoy, está todo bien, ¿no? A la verga, a la verga, no mames, güey. A la verga. Oh. You better run, boy. Uh. Está chinga. Tranquilo, tranquilo, tranquilo. No llegué, no llegué. Qué güey, tranquilo. Allá arriba, allá arriba gritaron. Algo, algo vi arriba, yo vi también. Yo no estoy loco. A la verga, no mames, güey. No chingas a tu madre, güey. ¡A la verga, no mames, güey! No chingas a tu madre, güey. Vámonos, vamos a la verga, pues vamos a la verga. No, no. ¿Qué es esta one? No, vete a chingar a tu madre, güey. Oye, oye, verga. Nadie se quedó, güey. Verga, verga, ya lixo, güey, ya lixo, güey. They run as the horrifying figure of a child screeches at them from the decaying cabin's second floor. Then, another scream. But now inexplicably, the figure is gone from the second story window and is now hiding in the weeds on the ground floor. So is this the ghost of the young boy who was never found? Is it La Llorona? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Nah, bro, that's Spider-Man's child that he abandoned. You see the way it was just chilling on the wall like that, and then, you know, all of a sudden it's on the, oh, Spider-Man's child we never knew about. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. I don't have any. I wish I did. Sorry, bro. Stevens. Twin brothers Ryan and River Reese from the YouTube channel Twin Paranormal travel to the historic and allegedly haunted Fort Stevens, Oregon with their fellow explorer, Nick. The fort is said to be haunted by multiple ghosts. Two of the alleged spirits are said to be a father and his 10 year old son who tragically lost their lives at the bunkers. The other ghost is said to be a soldier named August Stahlberger who was beaten to death by unknown attackers while on guard duty in 1868. 
Many Fort Stevens visitors claim to have wow. seen a strange shadow figure roaming the fort's underground tunnels. Soon after arriving at the location, the twin paranormal guys jokingly discuss splitting up to explore. But that conversation is cut short. We'll split up. Split up? No. <laughs> I'm all trying to be like super badass right now. Yeah, let's split up, guys. No way. None of these pillars. Wait, wait, wait. Shh. Hello? We're with the park rangers. Mm. He's lying, we're just visiting. We're nice. Very nice people. Please be nice to us. We'll be nice to you. As they continue to yeah, explore the creepy the fort, they begin to feel like they might not be alone. Hey, listen. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh my god. Somebody's walking above. Above? Up, above. The twin paranormal team is starting to get a bit freaked out by the unexplained sounds and footsteps. They search, but they can't seem to find anyone or anything to explain the strange noises. And then, without knowing, they catch something very strange. Four. Four. In a couple of seconds, you are about to see our first time catching an actual ghost anomaly, not noticing it right in front of our faces. Could this be the 10-year-old Shane Davis? That just gave me chills. It's right there. Is there four people here with us tonight? A mysterious mist or reflection of a face seems to rise up the wall right in front of them. Now, this could simply be pareidolia. However, what happens next is a little harder to explain. This place is like not... Did you hear? Watch your step, watch your step, watch your step, watch your step. Guys, guys, guys. What hey. just happened? I don't know. And I f***ing like had to scream because Nick was running with his umbrella open and it's scratching every wall that we yeah, go. Yeah, dude, straight. And so I, I feel sorry. like, oh, oh, hold on. God. I'm thinking to myself like, oh, f something is running after us. And then it touches my back. Just the edge touches my back. I'm so sorry. So that, I was like, ah! Like, <laughs> re replay that. <laughs> that was something else. Like, I thought something like. That was so scary, dude. I'm not gonna lie. That was like super can scary. I just, huh? Can I turn something on here? Like, After that, the guys leave. decide to just get out of there. So, there did they go. catch a ghost there on go. camera? Smart move. You decide. I say so. Over on their YouTube channel, yep, Twin Paranormal. You can check out this full video, as well as all of their other paranormal investigations. Randonautica. So I just went randonauti. <laughs> she crying? <laughs> Released early this year, Randonautica might be the creepiest smartphone app you'll ever use. The app has seemingly gone Why viral as recently hundreds of strange reports and scary videos have been showing up on social media. Sky. Oh my ah! God. The Randonautica app, once installed on your phone, asks you for your location and for you to focus on your quote, intent. Now supposedly what you do is visualize in your mind what you want in life or what you want to physically find. This can be anything from wanting to find something positive like love, creativity, or inspiration, to darker intentions like finding a mystery or evil. The app then gives you GPS good, coordinates bro. to some pretty nope. strange but completely random locations near where you are. Now, allegedly Randonautica users with positive intentions are led to a location with positive things. Like deer, lovebirds, awesome landscapes, or even a can of coke. However. Many Randonautica users have shared their terrifying experiences after visiting locations with scary intentions Bro, she's in mind. Terrified. Like finding something dark or mysterious. TikTok user Matt Hall was one of these people. Matt claims that he used the Randonautica app with the intention of finding something creepy. And he found it. 
So I saw this thing that a lot of people were doing on TikTok called Rando Nodding. It's an app that you download and it gives you a completely random location close to you that you go to and apparently it's supposed to be a glitch in the simulation or something like that. I don't really know if I believe it or not, so I downloaded the app. You know how you use it? By never downloading it and installing it into your phone. Why would you want... Okay, so this is my question to these people who are doing these types of things. When you are going and messing with paranormal things, but especially like when you download an app that's going to take you to a positive place, a negative place, what so, whatever. Why would you have negative and unpositive intentions? And then you expect not to have, see something scary or something bad happen. I don't get some of these people, man. I really and I don't. I thought I'd try it out for myself. It gave me a spot in the middle of the woods that's kind of close to my house, but it looks like it's along ATV trails. So we're on the ATV and let's go see where it takes us. All right, so we're at the location, and this is, this is weird. There's a car just chilling in the woods. How did they even get in here, though? Like, there's trees everywhere. There's no way a car could get in here. This car looks super old. finds an old abandoned car in the middle of the woods. But even more bizarre, an unexplained voice seems to call out to him from the forest. Help me. Holy Help me. Holy Understandably, Matt is spooked and just gets out of there. But after many requests from his TikTok uh, followers, yeah. he decides to go back to the same spot. All right, guys, I came back to the location that I heard that why would at night you're gonna go back at night that's okay well you're kind of asking for it now at least when i was rando nodding see there's a car there is anybody there guess not all right i don't know if this means anything but there's a shirt here a water bottle there's water in the bottle there's like children's toys like all broken like all right that's creepy there's nothing else here i walked like all around the the car but i don't see anything else it's all that's here is there you anybody here it's about to go down gonna say something. yes i think i just heard something again a voice can be heard from somewhere within the dark woods this time it seems to say want to play want to play a game yes i think i just heard something now let's cut to TikTok user Tyler Zach. Tyler says that he and his friends used the Randonautica app while focusing on the intent of, quote, evil. When they are on their way to the calculated coordinates, this happens. Oh my god, Tyler! Tyler! She's thank you. A furiously angry woman seems to be focused on Tyler and his friends for no apparent reason. Now, I don't know if it's fair to call this woman, quote, evil, but I certainly wouldn't describe her as a little ray of sunshine either. And there's also the question, why do her eyes look black? Oh my god, Tyler! <laughs> Tyler! <laughs> Tyler! <laughs> Anyway, some dismiss the Randonautica app as simply the random internet equivalent of a Ouija board. But some true believers actually make the wild claim that the app breaks or, quote, glitches the Matrix. While TikTok user Cheyenne Lee definitely says that the Matrix had a glitch the day she tried out the Randonautica app with her friends. Okay, so there's that dude. Keep an eye on that red truck. Now go to your camera. He's really not. <laughs> oh my god, it's he's not, not focusing. There. He's walking. He's, oh, there he goes. He's literally right behind <gasps> you guys. Now. He's right by that mailbox and he's not there. He's not there and the truck is not there. What the f? What the f? <laughs> <laughs> he's right there. Now, some viewers claim that what Cheyenne and her friends are looking at is the front camera of the car, not the rear. However, Cheyenne then posted a video to prove that the car doesn't even have a front camera. So, all these buttons Where's the front? Where's the front? Nowhere to be found. 
There's literally no front camera. I don't know why people think I'm lying. There is no front camera. But now, let me tell you about one Randonautica exploration that is truly unexplainable. A group of Seattle teens were exploring with the Randonautica app and were directed to a location near the water on a Seattle beach. When they arrived there, they found a mysterious suitcase near the shore. Guys, we found a, a suitcase at the beach. Gabby, go. I'll do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Bro. <laughs> Wait, open it. Yeah. Well, it should be a fucking head in there or something. <laughs> open it. Keep the sleep. <laughs> it stinks, y'all. It washed up. Oh. Oh. oh! The contents inside smelled horrific, so the teens immediately called police. And a suitcase on the And this is when things get truly bizarre. Turns out the small black suitcase contained the remains of a human body. No one knows where the suitcase came oh. from, and police are still investigating. Now, let me say this again. This incident is 100% documented fact. It is not a fake video. It is not an elaborate hoax. In fact, this case was reported by multiple reliable news outlets. It still remains completely unexplained. So, you decide. Are all of these incidents just wildly random chance? Or is Randonautica truly tapping into something paranormal? In the shadows, local police in a small neighborhood in Manila, Philippines received a report that a motorcycle mirror had been stolen. So they went to check the street CCTV to see if they'd caught any evidence of the crime. They didn't catch the crime on- Who would steal a motorcycle mirror? Or a light? Idiots. camera but they did catch something A dark translucent figure that seems to be about the size of a child appears to be playing hide and seek with nearby people and even the neighbor's cat. But wait, before you say it's just a shadow or it's a glitch in the camera, here's another video of the same street. In this clip, a woman unknowingly walks right past the creepy black mass. <laughs> The woman in the video That's doesn't so even seem to see the dark shape. Even stranger is that we can see her very defined shadow on the ground. It looks very different from the semi-transparent dark mass and changes shape and even direction as she walks. Like a normal shadow. 
So what is this? Is it a ghost caught on CCTV? I don't know. Or is it all no just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Good excuse to get the hell That's out of That's all for there. now. Thanks for watching. Sure. Please follow me. Yeah, you guys. Um, this video was not that bad. It's, there were some parts where it kind of scared me, but not that bad. Um, I'm, hopefully, I'm not going to have any nightmarish dreams tonight whenever I go to sleep because i got to be at work later. Don't get off till late tonight, you know. So, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, make sure that you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you guys want to see more scary videos, please comment down below in the comment section below and link them to me and I will react to them. Turkish videos will be coming soon when I have the time to uh, react to them. Please send links to Turkish reaction, you know, like videos you guys want me to react to, like, you know, Kuko or Soz or whatever. Just comment the link so I can find it and react to it. But anyways, hope you guys have a great day. And as always, peace out.